Hey friends, today we are going to talk to you about the X bar and R chart. How to create this in Minitab software? So today I am going to tell you how to create X bar R chart in Minitab and how to measure the process capability of any process, CPC, PK, and process performance, PP, PPK. So first, I have mentioned the time, which is a uh, written here. 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, which means after each one hour, I will calculate the data, I will take the samples from the process and the uh, different samples, which is a X1, X2, X3, X4, X5, I have taken five sample in each hour and measure that sample and kept this measurement in this tabular form X1, X2, X3, X4, X5. Similarly, I need to do it for at least 25 times so that uh, I have total 125 numbers of uh, parts, 125 data and the uh, spread of the process is captured here. Okay, So you can say from 8 o'clock to next day 8 o'clock it is mentioned here. So first you need to check the normality test of this data, whether this data is normal or not and after that you can do the X bar R chart and process capability. So for normality test, we need to go to the stat, basic statics and check the normality test. For that, here in variable section, you need to check like for x1, I am going to check for x1 column, just click this x1, it is already uh, taken Anderson Darling method, you need to put ok. So it will show you this graph and the value here. So now you can see in the graph there are some outliers which is showing some data in is uh, lower specification nearby and some in, in upper specification and p value of this data is also very low which is a 0.0017 it means your data is not normal there is some outliers which is mentioned here 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 you need to take action on it why this outliers has come and you need to eliminate the causes for this after that you can identify the process capability of the process done this exercise my data is normal now what next you need to do you need to go to the stat again go to the quality charts and click on variable charts for subgroup here we are going to learn about the x bar r chart so i need to click the x bar r after clicking it so here it will show you two things one if all observation for a chart in one column if you have only one column column which is generally used for the imr chart or if you have written the average of all five data in one column okay but we have uh, created x1 x2 x3 x4 5 all the data in separate column so i will click observation for a subgroup in one row of column okay and i have already selected here i will show you how to select so it will show here then you need to click x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 okay after that you need not to do anything just click okay so after this it will automatically calculate the ucl which is a upper control limit lower control limit it is mentioned here 26.540 and 34.255 and it will show you the data like this now you need to interpret it, where is the gap why this is, graph is very much uh, shifting and you need to take action accordingly so like you can see in fifth hour there is some problem here we have some problem here we have some problem so you need to take action on this by showing the x bar r chart for the outer diameter i have mentioned the graph here now after plotting this chart you also need to create the process capability of this process for that i will minimize this you need to go to the stat again go to the quality tools and in quality tools you will do the capability analysis so right now we are doing the capability analysis for normal data okay so i will go to the normal i will here again just i am showing you how to do it first it will click here so we have a data in different column so i will select it here subgroups across row of okay row of x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 okay here i have mentioned the lower specification which is lsl and upper specification limit which is usl so lower is 25 and upper is 35 
okay after this you need not to put anything other just click okay so now it will show you the pppk and cpcpk in one go okay so now now we need to interpret this uh, graph of process capability so like we have uh, different data of lsl was 25 usl was 35 sample mean is 30.3976 uh, Sample number was 125, standard deviation overall is 2.92 and within is 2.87. Now my PP which is a process performance is very less 0.57. So you can see this is very less, I need to work on it. And my PPK which is a lower of PPL and PP upper, it is showing PPK is 0.52 which is also very less. And potential within capability which is TPCPK is also very less is 0.58 and 0.53. And in graph you can also see my uh, graph is not in the bell curve. So bell curve is not created. Why? Because lots of data in, in is in LSL side and USL side and also you can see lots of parts is created after the USL and LSL area which means lots of parts are rejected and reworked and if you want to see the PPM it will also show you the PPM so like for PPM in LSL it was it is showing expected overall PPM for LSL is 32,528 for overall performance and within it is around 30,000 and PPM for uh, LSL, uh, USL it is observed 64,000 and expected overall is 57,000 and expected within is 54,000. So if I will produce the product on this process with this capability, so what is what will happen in next? It will produce the product with 64,000 overall PPM at least or 90,000 overall or expected 84,000 in within means uh, short time, short term period and overall uh, long term period it will create at least 90,000 PPM which is very huge in this process. So which means you need to improve the process capability and process performance of this process. You need to check why uh, the lots of outliers are there, what are the different events are there, what are the special causes in my process because in first uh, graph I have shown you the data is not normal. First if data is normal the CPCPK and PPPPK will be very good but data is not normal so your uh, graph is also is very bad and the calculative CPCPK PPPPK is also very bad and your PPM will be off always very bad in this process. So although uh, the correct method of doing SPC is very long, you can also uh, see the AIG uh, SPC manual which tell you how to do the SPC in which you need to take the recommended 125 parts, you need to do the uh, measurement of that parts and create the subgroup as per your processing and you need to identify what are the common causes and special causes. So, by doing all this activity, you can create the CPCPK and PPPPK as per the recommended data which is minimum 1.67 is required to create the good parts in your process if you want to achieve the 3 sigma level. But if you go beyond this 2 CP or 3 CP, so that is also very good because you are going beyond 3 sigma, 4 sigma, 5 sigma or 6 sigma level. Friends, thank you. If you like the video, please like and comment on my below link and also please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you bye bye